Hold up, Capricorn. Welcome to your Four Lovers Only bonus reading for the month of November 2020. You know me as the Cosmic Divine Tarot and Cappy. This is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? Now, if it resonates with you, hit that like, that share, subscribe to the page. Hit the notify so you know and I will be uploading new messages for you, Capricorn. <clears throat> if it doesn't resonate with you, baby, don't even worry about it. Because I'm just going to get you next time I do your reading. Which you know is going to be real soon, right? So don't even worry about it. <laughs> Capricorn, yeah, I'm still utilizing the uh, Tarot of Sexual Magic for your bonus reading. And I'm also reading Reversals for your bonus. Okay, it's like I did last time. <clears throat> so we'll get into the reading, Cappy. The first column, I see you have the Eight of Chalices, the Moon card, the Knight of Wands, as well as the Four of Swords, okay? Well, Capricorn, that tells me that uh, with these two cards here, on the side here, the Eight of uh, Chalices and the Four of Swords, that you basically had to withdraw your love. From somebody you had to withdraw your love from somebody who just wanted you to stay in their life okay as you can see the man here he is like really trying to keep the woman from leaving him trying to express love to her okay but you went ahead and went into retreat in a damn way you retreated from this person who wanted you to just be more communicative with them and you know they wanted you to you know be more willing to, you know, pleasure them orally and just go ahead and continue having sex with that ass, all right? However, this person was like, you know, in some moon energy, Capricorn, because, you know, and, and was in and out of your daggone life. I mean, they came in with the moon energy, which was some daggone secrets, okay? They had all types of things that they were keeping from you. You know, they just wanted to they just wanted to have sex with you, baby. That's all they wanted. They just wanted to suck all on your breast and everything. They wanted to go ahead and be in and out of your damn life. When they came into your life, they had you right here, hands all over your body. They just want you with your clothes off, Capricorn. Okay? That's what they wanted. And that was the secret. It also was a secret that you felt that this person had some daggone body else. Because here uh, in, the, in the second column, first of all, you're dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. You're dealing with a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well as the uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius. All right? <clears throat> Now, the second column is real interesting, Cappy, because you have the high priest and the high priestess. You know damn well this person had somebody else. They ain't fooling you. They ain't fooling you, Capricorn. You know damn well this person was bumping ugly with some damn body else because you're hier hierophant, inner high priest is telling you so there's two people right here the high priestess knows because the high priestess knows the secrets of all damn things so yeah you know this person was uh doing the nasty with somebody else you already know that they were juggling you with the two of pentacles they can't even say that they were not juggling you because you already know better you ain't no damn fool all right, so the third column, we have justice in reverse and the empress in reverse, which means that when this person comes back into your life, because they're always somebody who is in and out of your life, this Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, this Cancer, Pisces, uh, Scorpio, when they come back into your life, they will not be receiving any damn justice from you. The justice card is in reverse. As well as the empress is in reverse. So you will not be their empress. You will not give them empress or emperor status in your life anymore, Capricorn. You will just not do it. Because this person is like on some damn bullshit. Okay? That's what they're on. They want some bull <laughs> They think that you are going to go ahead and let you be juggled and somebody else be juggled. If they want somebody else, let them go to that mother right there. And here we got the um, 
Next card is the nine of chalices in reverse, okay? You are not going to be giving this person any kind of satisfaction because it's in reverse. So they're just going to have to be dissatisfied, Capricorn. They're just going to have to be dissatisfied with the fact that you're not going to be their emperor or empress or you're not going to have them up on a pedestal like you had them before, okay? Now here is the, uh, the star in reverse, okay? They want you to pour all kind of love and affection onto this person. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? But... You're not going to do it. You're not giving them any kind of hope. You're not giving them any kind of beauty. You're just completely and utterly cut off from this daggone person. You will not be that fool. You packing your bags and you getting up out of Dodge, okay? You're not staying with this person anymore. It could be somebody who you live with and you just went ahead and packed your bags and left. You're not dealing with it anymore. You're not dealing with this person Making you feel like you're not good enough to be in their life. Making you feel that they have to have you and some daggone body else, Capricorn. Hell no. Here is the uh, Knight of Swords in reverse. You will not let this person dominate your ass anymore. Because as you can see, this person is laying down in the bed tied up uh, being dominated by some dominatrix, right? So, Capricorn, you are not going to let this person dominate your ass no damn more. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, all right? The fool is also an Aquarius. But you're, but you're like, listen here, I'm out of this month. You ain't going to cause me to stay with your ass. Here is the nine of um, pentacles in the upright. You did not feel you know safe with this person because i mean it doesn't have to be in reverse for me to see that this person is doing some old some old other thing while you sleep and that could be uh them sneaking out of your house and being with some daggone body else and you just know that that's the case capricorn you know scorpio also knew that that was the daggone case all right you I mean you're not a fool you're not a fool, okay? And that is what's going on here. Here's the eight of wands. This person is going to come back and try to communicate with you, trying to plead their case. They're going to tell you, this Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, they're going to tell you that they were not juggling you, that they love you. They're going to try to feed you a bunch of bullshit, okay? And you're like, man, shh. listen, four of wands in reverse, man. Four of Wands. How many reversals do we have out here, Capricorn? <laughs> you ain't with the head no more. You just ain't with it no more. Here's the Four of Wands in reverse. Like, look, I don't have no passion for you. You are not my twin flame. Or even if your ass is my twin, I am no longer interested in this twin flame journey with you. Okay, I'm not interested in it, so take your bootleg, crack leg, limp along ass on some damn way. Here is the uh, nine, of, uh, nine of our wands. You see, she's trying to, you know, nurture him back to life because he's somebody who's hurt. Baby, that came out in reverse. That came out in reverse, Capricorn. That means that you are not, you don't care that this is a wounded warrior. You don't care at whatever it is that they're saying to you because you are just completely and utterly at your wit's end. You're done, Capricorn. It's curtains, baby. It's curtains. And this person is wounded as a motherfucker. They hurt as hell. But you just can't care right now. Because you're all about yourself, Capricorn. You're all about making yourself happy. You're all in your your uh, high priest and high priestess mode. Okay? You know what I'm saying? You ain't their empress, but you are an empress. Just because you ain't their empress don't mean that you're no longer an empress anymore. So they can kick the rocks out of your damn life. Now here is the Dark Mirror Oracle cards. Let me get you a few shuffles, Cap A. And alright, baby, go ahead, do the daggone thing, man. I mean, this person, people, people crazy. I think Scorpio, Aquarius, and uh, you, Cappy, got somebody dealing with somebody else on you. You know what I'm saying? I did uh, these three readings today. And it's like, man, it's like everybody's dealing with somebody who got somebody else 
in these three readings. Or just maybe, maybe that's just the goddamn world we live in, Capricorn. Maybe we're just going to deal with people like that. Maybe we're just going to deal with people who just can't keep it in their damn pants. And shit, man. <laughs> if that's the type of world we live in, we need to accept that that's that goddamn type of world we live in. And not expect for somebody to go ahead and keep it in their damn pants. Hmm. I know that's a... Uh, it's a terrible thing to say, Capricorn, but damn, I mean, what the fuck else we gonna do, baby? Let me go ahead and I'll get you some more messages. Um, what other messages do we have for Capricorn? Alright, here we go. Fragmentation. Okay? Fragmentation. So you're tired of people giving you just a fragment of, of their time and, and their effort and their love. You're just, you're just tired of that. You're, fr you're tired of all the fragmentations that you've been receiving in your life. And Capricorn, you're just going to have to start uh, manifesting better, baby. Okay? And I, I feel that too. It's time to manifest better. It's time to manifest somebody better. Because we are... The ones who can co-create with the universe and find somebody who will be loyal to us out here. And not somebody who just got to stick the wand and all types of different pawns all the daggone time. Is this me? Is this me? She's standing here with a sword, Capricorn. Okay? So is that you? Somebody who was standing there with a the sword who was just not willing to put up with anybody else's sh Ooh, copy. Damn, baby. Okay. Ah. Now I gotta get you another card, Capricorn. <laughs> Ooh-wee. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. That one, like, that's the, is that the queen of swords of this deck here? Mm-hmm. Oh, parasite. Okay, so now it's starting to, to, to make sense. This is you dealing with parasites in your life. People who come into your life and give you only a fragment of what it is that you deserve in a daggone relationship, Capricorn. People who are parasites who try to leech off of you and suck you dry, baby. Nah. You, you, you utilizing the sword on them mother and that's exactly how you do that. Pick up the sword and, and cut that damn head off, Capricorn. Cut it off right out the damn jugular vein. Somebody coming into your life, going to give you all types of fragments, but going to be a parasite sucking everything you got. <laughs> Moonology cards, baby. The hell with that. I agree 100%, Cappy. That's right, baby. That is you. Yes, that is you. Mm -hmm. That's you, baby. And that's also me. That's why I agree with that, Kathy. Okay? I agree with that 100% because that's also me. I'm you. I'm the queen of swords right there. I'm Aquarius. And I'm cutting every fucking parasite out of my damn life. People who want to give me bits and pieces trying to breadcrumb a goddess. No. <laughs> Keep your your breadcrumbs in the damn bag and give it to some fucking body else. I ain't got time for that. Go ahead. Gotta, you know, beg for the bare minimums in a fucking relationship. Come on, man. Take your narcissistic ass on some damn wear or narcissistic traits on some damn wear. Because they don't have to be a narcissist, but that's a narcissistic trait. That's a breadcrumber. It's a narcissistic trait to be a damn parasite. Now, let me get you uh, more messages, Capricorn. Ooh, what you got? Two cards turned over. Okay, baby, let's see. Woo! Believe in the impossible, which just loves to come out. Nothing will come of this situation. This is the card that you needed to hear. Believe me, impossible is the blue moon, but this is the void of course moon. So these parasites, nothing will come of the situation with these damn parasites. These people who are in your life just want to suck you, drive everything you give them. Capricorn, 
your workhorse, but you don't need to be in a situation like that. So expect for powerful change. Believe in the impossible that there can be a powerful change in your life, uh, Capricorn, okay? A powerful change, a powerful shift from these type of people to people who will give to you. Unlimited. Because you are the type of person to give to them. Unlimited. So the universe needs you to go ahead and co-create with them and manifest this type of person in your life who is not a parasite who you don't have to utilize the sword on because they're only giving you fragmentations of what the fuck you deserve. So absolutely not, Capricorn. Believe in the impossible because it is possible that people like that out here do exist. I know I said before that maybe we just have to go ahead and accept that people are just out here and not going to be able to keep it in their pants. But it is possible to find somebody who will. It is possible to manifest somebody who will be loyal just to you, baby. That's 100% possible. If you believe in that Capricorn, if you, can, if you believe that you can manifest it, then it can happen for you, Capricorn. If this reading resonates with you, now go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages, Cappy. If it doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry, baby. Just going to go ahead and get you next time. But I feel that it's going to resonate with a lot of Capricorns because this is a message that you've been getting uh, for some time from me. That you're just cutting everybody off or cutting those type of people off at the jugular who's trying to, you know, just utilize you for everything they got, okay? Or everything you got, baby. Till next time, Capricorn. Peace, love, and light. Hold up, baby.